Sunday fun okay, day. Okay, that was hilarious. Who picked that one? Ooh. Who did it? I did. That was me. You know me so well, babe. Call David Blaine. They got that new couple magic. <laughs> oh, you guys are in that honeymoon phase of the relationship. Enjoy it. Let me tell you this, Alyssa. You found yourself a goalie. Because this guy, a keeper. Oh. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> yeah, the joke was funny the first time you said it. Sorry? You said the same joke last weekend when we were with Alex and his new girlfriend. It was funny the first time you said it. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know I needed to have different delivery and new material lined up every time we had a little game day with our friends. <laughs> oh, well, now you know. Well then, now I know. <laughs> All right, uh, it's my turn. When I am president, I will create the department of blank. Um. Department of Tom Brady. <laughs> Oh, so she didn't even know who Tom Brady was. I had to explain it to her. Last. I should be getting the point. Okay, hey, hold on. Can you can you close your mouth just a little bit? Do you see how you're spitting on everybody? Spitting you're like a water fountain. It's <clears throat> gross. We got a T-Rex over here, guys. I'm spitting when I talk. <laughs> what an elementary style of humor. He you has. guys are too cute. Side note: uh, Joey here is an amazing wine connoisseur. Ooh, she loves wine. And I love what wine does to her, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't really say the same here. This guy has two glasses of red wine and then passes out like a geriatric bulldog. Is that me? Are you guys? Every night. Me? Well, this bulldog sleeps really well knowing that his hard-earned money is being spent on worthless Amazon Prime items. You'd think after the fourth colander, we'd have enough pasta strainers, Martha Stewart. I wouldn't have to order all of these kitchen items if you didn't still live like you were a frat boy in college. Because you're such a grass-fed anti-aerobic freak. Oh, baby, it's antibiotics. I'll forgive that little mispronunciation because you're a CTE. E ridden D3 wash okay, up. D3 wash you up. played three downs on special Commenting teams. on athletic ability is a seriously bold move considering the most exercise you do is pose in front of the brick wall next to our house. You're not an influencer. You work at a social media marketing yeah, job. Yeah, your brother loves those Oh, photos. he's 16 years old. Congrats, you got a nice job. All right, let's just get back to the game. Uh, who was yeah, it? I think it was your turn, babe. You pissed in a cup in our living room so that you wouldn't miss a minute of the playoff game. I also urinate outside. That's what men do. Oh, well, you weren't really much of a man last night, were you? Oh, don't take my wine. You see what you're doing? You're acting crazy I think now. We're, gonna we're just up. talking. Your eyes are too far oh, away. grow up. <laughs> At night, I dream your about. Your underpants uh, smell like an uh, antique store. Balls. Well, yeah, your crotch <laughs> feels like sandpaper. I exfoliate every time I do you a favor. Will you two just shut up. We get it. You guys have been together long enough so that every little thing bothers you. Can we just relax and enjoy this beautiful Sunday afternoon and finish the game? Okay? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. Yes. No, that's, that's how we talk. So we found that open communication really helps us so that we don't bottle things up and then lose it in just inappropriate situations. We found that's actually the most healthy way to maintain a relationship. Oh yeah, transparency is everything. Mm. I love you. Uh, how long have you guys been together? Three amazing months. Three months. You'll learn. <laughs> <laughs>